In this last May, I was part of a, a small group of people, about 10 of us, went to uh, an ice cap in Greenland on the East Coast called Renland. It's a small, separate ice cap from Greenland, and it's about 580 meters deep. And we went there to drill an ice core for paleoclimate. Contrary to all the previous ice cores that we've drilled, or most of them in Greenland, which have been up on the main ice sheet, um, those are deep cores that, that go back far in time. This one is a smaller ice cap, and it was uh, more shallow, but <clears throat> it didn't have the elevational changes throughout its time history that the main ice cap did. The camp was uh, strategically located in the center of the Renland ice cap. Um, for glaciological reasons, we wanted to capture a place where the ice would be the deepest and uh, the most uniform with depth. So as the ice flows slowly off the ice cap and encounters bedrock undulations, the ice will mirror that much like the water or rapids in a river. And so you can easily get convoluted ice that's difficult to interpret. So we want areas of calm ice or calm water, if you prefer, where the, the layers are nice and horizontal. Uh, ice cores are probably one of the best recorders of paleoclimate. Um, by drilling ice cores, we're able to unravel time capsules of our Earth's atmosphere and gives us great insight into Earth dynamics for weather and climate. The reason ice cores are so great is because they have annual resolution. There are lots of other environmental recorders like coral or tree rings or ocean sediments. They're all really good in their own way, but few of them match the, um, the, the length of history coupled with the high resolution. We had, by the way, 37,000 pounds of cargo to go in and out of aircraft uh, to arrive at the camp, which did not exist before we started. So when our teams got out of the plane, there was nothing but snow, and the last plane out will leave nothing but snow. Going into the field is really something that I've been doing for all of my career, and so at least once a year or two, I'll go for extended six weeks of field work, and it gives you a singularity of purpose, but it also resets your clock as to what's important. And it gives you a hands-on connection with the science you're doing, and it makes you appreciate uh, the value of the ice you bring home. And with every ice core comes a unique picture. I would argue that because we've learned something very unique and very exciting from every ice core we've ever drilled, that it's a bargain at twice the price. So these are just pieces of the climate puzzle that are being unraveled through every ice core that we drill. So I'm confident that ice core drilling will be continuing for years to come and it will teach us even more about the climate dynamics that are uh, extremely important to the future of our existence in the climate as we know it.